See her right there, baby? Look, I stamped her. And I stamped her. And I stamped her. <laughs> I really want to stamp your friend. Could you put it together? She had a fucking Sorry, gun. Oh, right. Yeah. I'm going to keep it between me and God, but the listeners, you know, I don't know who they may tell. <laughs> Who need to call me and talk with me? Hey, what's going on? This is Kevin Gates. This is my best friend, OG Booby Black. This is the Kevin Gates Helpline. What we're going to be doing is taking calls from listeners all over the world who may need help solving some of life's issues. Stay tuned, because you might be going through something similar to them, and these words may help you also. Yes, indeed. Booby, who we got on the line? We got Shay Shay from Oklahoma. What's happening, Shay Shay? Hey, Booby, how you doing? We want to welcome you to the Kevin Gates Helpline, you know. We don't judge here. So, my husband got out of prison. He's been locked up since he was 18. He's 25 mm. now. And as soon as he got out, he made sure he married me, but he running loose like a dog. He fucking everything walking. He's slinging, he slinging that dick like a boomerang. He out here marking his territory. Yeah. <laughs> I can understand, you know, he got that glow that just come home glow and, you know, he been deprived and restricted for, you know, a long period of time and he out just sowing his royal oats, but I believe he still know where home at. Based on you being there for him while he was incarcerated, he's going to have a bond with you, an unbreakable yeah. bond with you forever. Yeah. Because you, you when he was on his deathbed, you was there for him. Believe that. I was. I caught a case for him, too, because... When he was in prison, I was bringing him the bag, and uh, I did it for two years, and then I finally got caught. So I'm on papers now for five years. You know how good things must come to an uh, end? What, you got introduction of contraband into a penal facility? Yep, yep, that's what my yeah. charge, that's exactly what it is. I think you ought to have a conversation with him and just tell him, like, bae, I know you out just slinging that dick, but, you know, I would like to be included in some of these sex capades that you be having. <laughs> I just noticed, like, when I tell a woman the truth, it ain't even that they be tripping about who getting the dick. They just want to be included. I don't. You don't want to be included? No. Oh. Like, I just, and then he be fucking with some hood rat ass, like, nasty bitches. You know, we still got to get that ghetto pussy here and there. We keep it in the game for the coming up millionaires. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, yeah, I think that's a conversation that you and him ought to have. You ought to tell him, baby, you out here doing this and that, but I, I don't really like when you do that. Talk to him. Because I always be spazzing out and going crazy and, you know. Jealous. I chased him around the car with his gun. I done stabbed him. I just slapped his tires. Like. You handling that man like he a dog. Yeah, you like him in the yeah. cage. You want to you know? put him in the cage and, and chase him with guns and try to beat him when he, when he disobedient, you know? So you already created an environment to where he feel like he just came from having to sneak around the wardens and the and the COs and all that. Now you just ain't nothing but another warden. He done left Big prison to come home to <laughs> another prison. Because my feelings are hurt. That's why. You got to go communicate with that man and let that man know. See all that old flashing out and all that? That's unacceptable, yeah, yeah. beloved. I love him, though. Hey, baby, love is what love, love is does. Well. Yeah, love is definitely what love does. Love is what love does. If you're not providing a place of peace and being his peace, then she, he, he going out there giving them other hoes a piece, a piece of that dick. Yeah. I'm, it's funny you say that because that's what he says. I just want peace. I just want peace. He does. He's been gone other, since he was 18 other, years it's, old. It's, Shay, real, Shay. it's real peaceful with this other bitch, though, you heard? But, okay, so let me ask you this. Am I just supposed to sit back and accept everything he doing? I think today? you ought to communicate. Yeah. Because you haven't provided yeah. that space. See, when you create that space for him to be honest, man, our relationship would be so beautiful. Baby, I know you're going to do other shit, but just let me know so these hoes don't have one up on me. Yeah, you got to create the platform for him to be able to feel freely to speak his truth to you. And if mm -hmm. not, then both of y'all need to just part ways. Yeah. Yeah. Because y'all not growing together. Y'all growing apart. Especially you chasing me with a gun. Believe that. <laughs> I'm going to let you have blessings on your journey, beloved, because, you know, I got other callers on the line, but it's been it's been beautiful demonstrating with yourself. I love y'all. Yes, ma'am. No too. question. She had a fucking Sorry, gun. Yeah, you know, she... I'm talking know. about a gun. What, that, what if that bitch was an automatic with the, with the trigger pin? She borderline crazy. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking about dude, man. He just came home. Man, they were telling him what he did to get well, there with he dug <sighs> Man. But I think we helped out. You know why? Because she was real aggressive when we first... Like, like she was going... Like, we was going along with her. I don't think we helped out because I could tell that she's so stuck in her ways. 
she was more amped up and excited about getting on the phone with, with two real niggas, you know right, what I'm saying? Right, right. She was amped up and excited about that, but I don't think nothing going to change because every time we said something, she couldn't see the fault in herself. Right. You know, I try my business to get it rectified. She might take them out to eat or something. They might get into it at the restaurant, bro. I ain't no telling how it's going. that shit crazy. Who, who we got next on the line? We got um, Gabe from Pennsylvania. Click him in and see what he's talking about. Hey, what up, Gabe? You on the phone with Kevin Gates and OG Booby Black. What's happening with you, Gabe? Kevin, what's going on, guys? Thanks for having me on. So listen, for a while I've been struggling with this uh, concept of monogamy. I just think that it's hard to say that you know what you're going to want at any point in your life, whether you're 7 or 70 years old. I mean, what you're going to want in 5, 10 years from now. You know, That's a tough thing for me to swallow. Trust me, I know. Is the person that you thinking about being married to, is that your best friend? Kev, absolutely. I believe it's going to work then. I mean, you just got to take your mind out of the concept of the title and be honest with that person. And what I notice is with people, you either grow together or you grow apart. So if we say we're going to grow together, that means that I'm going to be honest with you. Like, baby, I, I think we need to spice it up a little bit, make it a little more kinkier, make it exciting, you know? Mm-hmm. Once a week, right. uh, once every two weeks, we have a kinky day with just us, you know? We can have threesomes, all kind of shit. We can swing, swing whatever. Swing, yeah. You ain't swinging, we ain't speaking, you know? Flash shit like that, just to keep the spice in the relationship. Do you think that, that true monogamy exists? I believe so, but the relationship can't be based on sex. We got to have other things in common, like... The intellectual intercourse has to be stimulating. If we live a healthy lifestyle together, if we doing the things that we both like to do, that's when it becomes intimate on a level that's far beyond sex. Do you put sex on the back burner? That's just, like I say, I, I don't like that title. Like, this is my husband and wife. I like it to be, this is my best friend. And the way I could go talk with the guys in the locker room, I should be able to talk like that with my best friend. Sometimes you just got to be open to everything, you know what I'm saying? When you open everything, a person understands you a little more. But you got to you gotta know exactly what you want. And if that's what you want, hey, go for it, man. They already know. Like, women are psychic. They have intuition. So they already know. So if you just tell her the truth, it's going to really make the relationship even better. Like, baby, I want to be with you for the rest of my life. But, you know, I get bored a lot, you know. I want to shake my nuts every now and then, baby. And women respect women respect the truth. Like you just don't know how far to get you in real life. They love the truth. They respect it because they already knew anyway. They're they're so psychic. Yeah, I understand. You know, I mean, because I get bored fast. You know, I'm a d d d d d d d d d d. So <laughs> I mean, I, I get bored fast. I'm gonna be honest with you. So like I say, for some people, monogamy is monotony. If you're not living in your truth, when you're living in your truth, there's nothing to worry about. I mean, it's about as insightful as I thought it would be. I really appreciate your time, guys. Thank you. Yes, sir. Yeah, let us know, man. Do your thing, You got nothing to lose. Yeah, man. I appreciate you, guys. Yes, sir. I appreciate you also. He spoke how he was feeling, but he wasn't living in his truth. But it's like right now, this real talk, this scientific proven fact. Mm. If you with a woman, right, and you have sex with another woman, you never tell your woman what happened. She gonna know. Her womb is gonna know, and it could offset her pH levels. Her pH levels could be off without you giving her STD or anything because you're mixing energies. But if you tell her what's going on, then her womb can heal. I'm not an expert, but I got this book called The Sacred Woman because I want to understand women, this scientific proven fact. But what you said just now was the time was the truth, cause I used to be thinking my girl had a some type of device on me or something, cause I've been no, done something it's, and it's she'll know womb, exactly womb, what I done. The womb got a chakra. The yeah. womb got an extra chakra that men don't have, and it has intuition. Mm. It's psychic. That's how they always know shit, cause they synchronize with the moon. The jewels that you drop on this hotline is like, you can't get it out of book, encyclopedia, or almanac. Yes, Lord. Hey, let's see who we got on the line next. We got Zaya from Florida. Yeah. Click her in. What's up, Zaya? You on the phone with Kevin Gates and OG Booby Black. Zaya, what's happening? Kevin, Booby, what's up, y'all? Oh, man, y'all, you know what it is. What's going on, beloved? I'm a 33-year-old, very fruitful, mom of six. Um, I just ended the relationship with their dad. Um, it's been 16 years. I have a lot of healing to do behind that. 
But any break I get, it's more like a small breather, you know? Mm -hmm. You got six kids? Six, yep. See, a lot of people look at that and try to judge. That just means your womb is wealthy. You're a producer. That's what I think. A great you bear That's fruit. exactly what I think. Mm -hmm. But look, check it out. You say anytime you get a break from the six little ones, what happens? It's like a breather. I feel like I'm nothing more than a mother until I'm an employee. Then I'm an employee. Then I come back home and be a mother. Like So you're not really being appreciated how you should be. You're not being validated. Yeah, that absolutely. I, I was going through something similar to that. I looked at myself as just a provider. But I realized that children pay attention. They see, hear, and feel everything. So once they see us start working on ourselves, believe it or not, my children start following suit, following mm -hmm. suit with me. Like when I got on my healthy kick and got on my fitness journey, they fell in line with it because they was proud of me. That's something that I see is happening. I be having them meditate with me. And you done already started your process oh, unbeknownst yeah. to yourself. Yeah, I absolutely started it, but I just know it's a lot of deep inner work I need to do myself. It ain't really about, I know it's deep, but the more you work on yourself, the deeper you gonna go. I'm not trying to get to the Grand Canyon in, in, in one day. It's a journey, not a destination, you know? Healing ain't a switch that you just click on and off. It's something that you have to continuously do for the rest of your life. It's not that the things ever go away. It's just that it's easier to deal with because you let them sit at the table. Right, right, exactly. You just got to stay focused on whatever it is that you're doing. You know, but that perfect time alone that you want, that's going to come and you know what's going to happen when you do get that perfect time alone? You're going to be long lived. You're going to miss them kids. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right too. And your escape can be the time that you're spending with your children. Great. I didn't look at it like that because I'd be so overwhelmed I'd be trying to get away. See, when you focus on the past, it brings depression. depression. When you focus, yeah, on, focus the on the future, it's anxiety. anxiety. I just, yeah, I know that thing. And then when you focus on the present, it brings peace. Everybody right, know right, what right. it takes, but everybody don't really do what it takes. Yeah, they don't put the work in. Exactly, exactly. But you're doing great. It's just about organizing the region and arranging the things. I appreciate you also. Blessings on your journey, beloved. Yeah, we appreciate you. Um, stay focused on what you're doing. Stay focused on the kids, and you know we'll stay, we'll stay prayed up. Thank All you, right. y'all. I really I mean, appreciate it. Thank you too. We appreciate you as well. Hey, I think that the kids are just probably doing too much. Then we don't know how young the kids is. Just think if you in a house full of young kids, me and you, we gonna have fun. But yeah, we're going to have fun. It's a female, and I'm also, we going to also provide structure. Yeah. So I'm going to have fun. Yeah. We don't know what it is. She probably have a lot of young I kids. I can't judge going. nobody's situation, but I noticed when I started being present, when you appreciate what you have, you have all that you need. Mm -hmm. When I started being present in my life, just being present, that's what gave me one, of the, greatest, one yeah. of the greatest senses of, of peace and freedom. It yeah. came in me being present in the moment. Which one thing she never said is that she turned her back on the kids. Shout out to her. Hey, I want to thank you for watching the Kevin Gates Helpline. This is my co-host, OJ Booby Black, and let me leave you with this. Anything lost could be found again except for time wasted. I like this. This bitch a little strong. This is more of a nighttime cigar. You been here at that? Or that's something you just got today? It's something new I just got today. It tastes like a it's, it tastes like a Cohiba a little bit. Mm.